Sports Locker, presented by Old National Bank, starts now. Well, it has been an incredible season for Zach Eady and the Purdue Boilermakers, and now they're just one win away from winning a national title here in the desert. Hi, everybody. Welcome live to Sports Locker Sunday. I'm Anthony Calhoun alongside here with Andrew Chernoff. And welcome to the show here tonight, everybody. We got a lot to get to here tonight on Sports Locker Sunday. Purdue fans, as I said moments ago, sit back, relax. We got a lot to talk about your basketball team that finds itself in the championship game in the NCAA basketball tournament. And Andrew, you look here behind me. This place is going to be packed tomorrow night when Purdue and Connecticut, they go head to head. And I think when you talk to most college basketball folks, this is a matchup when the brackets came out that many folks wanted to see on Monday night. These are the two most consistent best teams in the country, and basketball fans get their wish. A showdown with two really good bigs down low and two really good teams in general. Yeah, when you look at the polls all season long, Connecticut was ranked number one seven weeks. Purdue ranked number one five weeks. And here's this matchup for you. Monday night in prime time, 9-20 is the tip time here in Glendale, Arizona. We know what's on the line. The winner will be the national champs. Of course, Connecticut trying to become just the, the, the first school to win back-to-back since the Florida Gators did it. And so we'll see what happens there, but no doubt they are the defending champions here as they get ready to take on the Purdue Boilermakers. So speaking of Purdue today, this team is a team that has been focused all postseason long. And we talked to the guys here today. They've got one thing on their mind, obviously, and that is winning a national title. But I was impressed from what we saw from this team on Saturday night here in their win against NC State. Just look at this video of them. This is after that win. Other than really Lance Jones right here, yeah. everyone was just stone-faced, focused on what's ahead. Yes, it's a big deal to win a Final Four game, but these guys clearly don't want to be done after that national semifinal. There's more to accomplish. Yeah, they know what's on the line here tomorrow night against the Huskies, and these players are ready to deliver, not just for themselves, but the school as well. Me and the world. I mean, I, I think for any team, even for UConn, if they were to go back to back and me and the world for them as well. But I mean, I just think as any athlete ever, for you to win a national championship for your program, it would go so far. The game tomorrow, I'm just going to look at it the same way. Uh, I know how it is now. Um, I mean, it's just this time it's going to be for a national championship, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to let the outside noise of the crowd, you know, kind of impact my game. I'm just going to play free and, you know, just have fun. We've been talking about it all year. Uh, we want to be in the national championship, and all year we've wanted to play the best team, and they are the best team. They've been number one majority of the year. They were number one last year. They won the national championship last year, and so it's a perfect story. Well, perfect story indeed here for Purdue. If they can get it done here tomorrow night against the Connecticut Huskies. You know, when you talk about Purdue and just what this team has been able to accomplish this season after what transpired last year speaks volumes about the character and just their mental status, if you will, as far as like focus for this season. Because what happened last year, I'm telling you, against FDU, many teams would have had a hard time just responding and who just to get to the Sweet 16 would have been nice. But get alone, make it to the championship game the following year. Yes, we know Virginia did that, but it doesn't happen overnight. I mean, it, it takes time. You got to have a strong, a bunch of guys here ready to go to work. And the thing is, these guys, and they still hear it here. These fans who are against Purdue still say FDU. I mean, it has been over a year since that loss, and yet it's still on a lot of non-Purdue fans' minds because that's what they link this program with. Well, Purdue, you mentioned just how strong mentally these guys were on a mission because of what happened last year. Because it pushes us. It keeps that chip on our shoulder that if we're not ready to play and we're not playing well or we're not pushing each other that anything can happen. Um, and that something happening might just be the end of your season. So that feeling of like emptiness in the locker room after, that feeling alone has pushed us to this point. You don't pick your dreams. Your dreams are your dreams, but we all understand some of our dreams are nightmares too. And you don't pick those either. And so that piece of it, of being able to have to go to through it and feel that, I think helps you get on edge helps you to be a little sharper, but um, I think you only need to do it once, though. 
<laughs> yeah, he is right about that. But bravo to him, getting his team ready to go right from the start of the season. Big Ten regular season champs, and of course they're in the championship game this year. The parallels are actually really creepy when you look at what Virginia did yeah. and what this Purdue team. Virginia scored 63 points in their win in the Final Four yeah. in the national semifinals. Purdue scored 63 last night as wow. well. Wow, and we know what Virginia was able to do. Yes. Win that national title. Hopefully Purdue can just follow right in line with that. We're